Hi everyone, welcome again to my channel. Today, ang tuturo ko sa inyo ay tungkol sa Composing Effective Paragraphs. This is based on English 8, Quarter 2, Module 1, Lesson 1. And uh, dapat hawak ninyo ang inyong module at meron kayong ballpen and paper para makapin ninyo yung answers dito na i-discuss ko kasi wala itong answer sa keto correction sa inyong module. But for that, of course, if you are new in this channel, what you want to subscribe, like, and also click the notification bell para palagi kayong updated sa aking bagong video. And of course, please share also. Now let us start. How to write a personal narrative? A narrative paragraph tells a story. Pag sinabi natin na narrative, paragraph, yan ay based dito sa word na narrative. Ibig sabihin, nagnanarrate, nagkwento. Alright. Now, something happens first. Second. Third. Etc. Yan yung narrative. Ano-ano yung mga nangyari? Una, pangalawa, pangatlo, at kasunod-sunod na. Now, these paragraphs are used in fiction as a writer describes the unfolding of events, but they are also found when describing any actual sequence of activity. Okay. Personal narrative is a prose narrative relating personal experiences usually told in first person its content is non-traditional pag sinabi nating narrative paragraph i mean personal narrative ito yung sarili ninyong kwento based sa sarili ninyong mga karanasan at dapat ito palagi nakasulat sa first person pag first person ang gagamitin ito yung pronoun na i sa tagalog ito ay ako kasi ikaw ang nagkukwento Kaya dapat ako sa English ay Okay, what is it? Personal narrative is the foremost enjoyable kind of assignment to put in writing because it provides you with a chance to share a meaningful event from your life. How often does one tell funny stories or brag a couple of great experience and receive school credit for it? Think of a memorable event. A personal narrative can target any event, whether it is one or lasted some seconds or spanned some years. Your topic can manifest your personality, or it can reveal happenings that shape your outlook and opinions. Kung ano ay yung topic, ito ay magpapakita ng iyong tunay na personality o kung ano ang iyong pananaw sa buhay. Okay, your story should have a transparent point. Dapat ipinapakita rito yung tunay, tunay mong pagkatao. If nothing involves your mind, try one in all these examples. A learning experience that challenged and altered you. Ano ba yung karanasan mo na nagbigay sa iyo ng challenge o ng hamon? And then, a new discovery that materialized in a noteworthy way. Ano ba yung natuklasan mo? Nasa palagay mo, may malaking kapakinabangan sa iyong buhay. And then, another one, something funny that happened to you or your family. Pwede, rin, pwede mo rin isulat sa iyong narrative kung ano ang masayang karanasan na naranasan mo sa iyong pamilya. And then, a lesson you learned the hard way. Ano ba? yung natutuhan mong leksyon sa iyong karanasan. Itong mga ito ang pwede mong isulat sa iyong personal narrative. Okay, now planning your narrative. To write a narrative paragraph, start it with a brainstorming session. Kung ikaw ay may kasama sa iyong uh, uh, project, dapat mag-uusap muna kayo kung ano ang inyong gagawin. Ano ba ang title ng inyong narrative paragraph? Ano ang umpisa? Pangalawa? Pangatlo? Hanggang sa matapos, dapat pinag-uusapan ninyo ito. 
and then take a few moments to write down several memorable events from your life. Dapat isusulat mo ano-ano yung mga uh, mahalagang pangyayari sa iyong buhay. Remember, this doesn't have to be highly dramatic. Your event could be anything. Now, if you think your life doesn't have that many interesting events, try to come up with one or more examples for each of the following. First, times you laugh at the hardest. Ano ba yung naranasan mo na ikaw ay tumawa? And then, times you felt sorry for your actions. And also, painful memories. Ano ba yung naranasan mo na masakit para sa'yo? And then, times you were surprised. Ano ba yung naranasan mo na ikaw ay nasorpresa o namangha? And then, next, look over your list of events and narrow your choices by selecting people who have a transparent chronological pattern and people that will enable you to use colorful, entertaining, or interesting details and descriptions. Sino-sino ba yung mga tao na sa palagay mo ay may mahalagang uh, may mahalagang papel na ginampanan dyan sa ginagawa mong personal narrative. And then finally, decide if your topic encompasses a point. A shaggy dog story might represent irony in life or a lesson learned in an exceedingly comical way. A scary story might demonstrate how you learn from miscalculation. So kung ano yung karanasan mo, ay dapat yung talagang susulat mo para talagang realistic yung pakasulat ng iyong kwento. Huwag kang susulat ng hindi mo sariling karanasan kasi hindi mo yun may papaliwanag ng maayos. Okay. Show, don't tell. Now your story should be written in the first person point of view. The narrative, the writer is the storyteller. So you can write this through your eyes and ears. Make the reader experience what you experience, not just read what you experience. All right, I'm going to give you here an example of a sentence written in first person point of view. Okay, copy here in ito. I was surprised when I saw him. Okay, dito, ang first person point of view ay itong paggamit ng pronoun na ay ito. Ito ka ito. Kasi ikaw nagkukwento, dapat ay ang ginagamit dito. Okay. Next, do this by imagining that you are reliving your event. As you think about your story, describe on paper what you see, hear, and then smell, and feel okay as follows first describing options don't say my sister ran off wag daw sasabihin yun instead say my sister jumped a foot in the air and disappeared behind the closest tree okay next describing moods paano ba mag describe ng moods don't say everyone felt on edge Instead, say, we were all afraid to breath. Nobody made a sound. Next, elements to include. Write your story in chronological order. Make a brief outline showing the sequence of events before you begin to write the narrative. This will keep you on track. Your story should include the following. Now, kapag ikaw ikuku magsusulat ng kwento, dapat nasa chronological order. Pag sinabi natin chronological order, na, nasa ayos yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng pangyayari mula umpisa hanggang sa katapusan. Make a brief outline. Dapat meron kang outline. Paano mo pinagsunod-sunod yung pangyayari? Dapat yan ay nakasulat, yung outline na yan, para hindi nagkaka... hindi na wawala sa ayos ang takbo ng iyong kwento. Okay. First, about characters. Who are the people involved in your story? Sino-sino ba yung mga taohan sa iyong kwento? What are the significant character traits? Ano ba yung kanilang agwali? Ano ba yung kanilang katangian? Ano ba yung kanilang kakayahan? At ano ang kanilang iniisip? Alright. Now, in the tense, your story already happened. Nangyari na ang iyong kwento. So, generally, 
Right in the past tense. Dapat ang gagamitin ay past tense na verb. Some writers are effective in telling stories in the present tense. But that usually isn't a good idea. May mga writer din, may mga author, na gumagamit ng present tense. Pero sabi rito, hindi yan magandang idea. Example of a story or a text written in past tense. I was shocked when I learned the truth. Alright, itong was shocked, ito ang past tense dito sa ating sentence. Kasi nangyari na. Okay, next, about the voice. Are you attempting to be funny, summer, or serious? Are you telling the story of your five-year-old self? Okay. Now, next, conflict. Any good story should have a conflict, which can come in many forms. Conflict can be between you and your neighbor's dog, or it can be two feelings you are experiencing at one time, like girl, girl versus the need to be popular. Okay, now, Descriptive language. Make an effort to broaden your vocabulary and use expressions, techniques, and words that you don't normally use. This will make your paper more entertaining and interesting, and it will make you a better writer. Now, in broadening your vocabulary, mas mabilis ang paglawak ng iyong vocabulary kung ikaw ay wide reader. Pag marami kang pag ikaw ay wide reader, marami kang binabasa, Lalawak ang iyong pangunawa, lalawak ang iyong kaalaman. Pag oras na gagamitin mo, yan ay bigla pumapasok sa exit mo kasi you are a wide reader. Okay, next. Your main point, the story you write should come to a satisfying or interesting end. Do not attempt to describe an obvious lesson directly. It should come from observations and discoveries. Okay, next. Don't say, I learned not to make judgments about people based on their appearances. Okay, instead, you say, maybe the next time I bump into an elderly lady with greenish skin and a large crooked nose, I'll greet her with a smile, even if she is clutching a warp and twisted broomstick. What's new? Directions. Read and study sample personal narrative and answer the questions below. Alright, ihanda ang inyong um, ball pen and paper kasi may mga questions dito. At dito, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang possible answer. Okay, title is my first talent show. Standing backstage, I could feel my heart thumping in my chest. Just relax, my friend Jenny whispered. You're ready for this, I nodded. Jenny was right. I've been practicing my song for the school talent show for six weeks. Still picturing an audience packed with kids, parents, and teachers made me want to run out the door. Too late for that, as Mr. Peterson announced my song, Jenny gave me a nudge and suddenly I was on the stage. Standing in the spotlight, I grasped the microphone and belted out the lyrics. I heard my voice pour through the speakers and fill the room. It's going well, I thought to myself. Don't mess up. I look out at the sea of faces. The auditorium was dark, but I could see hundreds of eyes staring back at me. The smell of candy bars and popcorn filled the room. I hope Jenny is saving some for me, I thought, as I started the chorus one last time. As I finished the song, the audience began to clap. Yeah, Katie, one kid yelled. Yo, rock, squished another. I took a bow and walked off stage with a smile plastered across my face. How many days until next year's talent show? I asked Jenny. All right, here are some, here are the questions. Number one question, what details did the writer include to set the scene of the story? All right, dito, Nag-prepare ako ng possible answer. Just post the video and just copy this answer. The writer included the feeling of the main character to set the scene of the story. Okay, number two. How did the writer start his or her personal narrative? Okay, possible answer. The writer used the first-person point of view 
when describing the setting of the story. Okay, number three, what details did the writer include upon developing her personal narrative? Okay, possible answer. The writer described the setting, the characters, and used first-person point of view. The author also used descriptive words and describing imagery in the narrative. Alright, I hope you have learned something in this video. Watch out for my other videos about English grammar. Thank you very much for watching. See you again.